Welcome to the webinar as a part of the product launch for the PSF QX. We are happy to have you here today. I'm Seb and I will guide you through the webinar. And along with me today is Dominic, our expert for the product. Hi, I'm happy to be with you. This webinar is going to work in that way that within the next 10 minutes, you will get all the bits and bytes about the all new PSF QX. You will understand how it works, what it is good for, um, <clears throat> how to operate it, and which advantages it brings for you as well as your customers. For the ones who are not too familiar with PS Automation, let me introduce us to you in a very short manner. <clears throat> PS Automation is a manufacturer for electric actuators, and we are located in the southern western part of Germany. Since 1989, we develop and produce electric actuation solutions for quarter turn valves as well as control valves. After the PSFX, now we are launching the next product for Hazardous Environments, the PSFQX. Dominic, why is PS Automation launching this actuator right now into the market? Yeah, PS Automation is launching these electrical actuators now due to increasing demand in industrial environment, especially with customers requesting ATEX and ICX in the past. The success of the linear actuator since its launch in 2015 and its ATEX and ICX certification in 2022, we developed the well-known PSFQ. With this base, we were able to implement the Hasada certification without any problems. The quarter turn actuators are now available up to 80 Newton meters. Perfect. Sounds like a great package. Um, what are the main characteristics of the PSF QX, Dominic? Okay, we have 50 and 80 Newton meters. We have 24 volts with and 100 up to 240 volts. Uh, operating time for the PSF QX with 50 Newton meters with 25 seconds per 90 degrees and 80 Newton meters with 30 degrees, uh, 30 seconds per 90 degrees. The PSF QM works in 16 in 30 seconds with both torques. So we have two assemblies, the PSFQX with the spring on the bottom for a fail-safe function that it means in the event of a power failure or a power loss, the actuator moves to the defined position. The PSFQMX is working with a hand wheel on the bottom. That means you can move the actuator without any power. We have identical size. And we also have a flange F05 and F07. Both actuators has a standard drive push with a double square 70 millimeters. You have a position indicator that's visible from every direction. You have internal end stops to secure your valve and our actuator. We have a high precise hall sensor to position, to, to take a good position for the actuator. We have a brushless DC motor is state of the art and the housing is IP67. We have a certification from a third party that the, that the actuator is secured. So the material of the actuator on the bottom is aluminum, the cover is aluminum and both are powder coated. Perfect. Thank you, Dominic, for the first insight. So that looks to be a very compact and robust actuator for a SARS environment, but in which the SARS environment can you operate this actuator? ATEX and ICX. That means the flame proof encapsulated design are secured for gas zone one and two. Dust zone is 21 and 22. The explosion group 2C uh, makes it possible that the actuator control a hydrogen area or acetylene area. We have a temperature glass T4 up to 60 degrees, environmental temperature. So also the temperature glass T6 up to 40 degrees. An internal thermal switch ensure surfaces temperature that's lower than 80 degrees at T6 and 100 degrees 44. Perfect. So the actuator is very versatile and usable, but how do I operate the PSF QX? Yeah, you have a analog and a digital control possibility in this actuator. You have the outside um, terminal box to connect all the wiring. 
You have the possibility to parameterize the actuator with dip switches inside of the actuator. And also the big benefit of this kind of actuator is the automatic commissioning. That means you have to mount the actuator on the valve, adjust the internal uh, end stops, and then connect the wiring and press one button and it's done. You have also the possibility to operate the actuator by hand with the hand wheel or the buttons for, um, on the top of the actuator. You have a status LED to diagnose the actuator also in hazardous environment. And also the possibility to use this laptop and the software to, param uh, to diagnose the actuator further. Okay, that sounds like a great um, <clears throat> user experience as well. But what are the advantages of the PSFQX for our customers? Yeah, we have a compass and robust actuator. We have two types, two torques, and one design. It's established since 2015. So we have 24 volts AC and DC and 100 up to 240 volts. So we have only two variants. We have a clearly visible position indicator. We have internal end stop to secure actuator and valve. We have a high precise hall sensor with a repeat accuracy of 0.5% and also a repeatability of 0.5%. Our X certification can be used in almost all applications. We have a mechanical fail safe. That means the actuator moves counterclockwise or clockwise. We have a hand wheel operation mode on both actuators and the PSQFM with a hand wheel. The PSFQM can also be adjusted the actuation speed. We have also three control modes as standard. That means 4 to 20 milliamps, 0 to 10 volts, and a binary wide range power from 24 volts up to 230 volts. We have the setting is made via dip switches. Here in a short tutorial video, you can see how to adjust the dip switches. So you see that the actuator can be parameterized in just the way that you need it in your application within a very short time. Yeah, you can adjust the operating direction, the set value and the feedback. And one of the biggest benefits of this actuator, I told you before, is the automatic commissioning. So you can do it in a workshop, but you can also do it in the hazardous environment. You can also do a hand mode in the hazardous area. You have a status LED for the diagnostic. And you have also, um, sorry, uh, the software for further troubleshooting. Okay, sounds like a lot of, <clears throat> a lot of features. So thank you very much for this input. We received many informations now about this actuator. Just to wrap it up, we have the metal housing and the design that provide a very robust and compact actuator. We have two executions, one with the failsafe spring and one with the manual hand wheel. Both are capable to work in ATEX as well as in IECX, IECX <clears throat> um, environments. The functionality is extensive. You do not need to cover if the actuator will be operated with 4 to 20 milliamps, 0 to 10 volts, or with a binary input signal. The status LED makes, uh, gives you the chance to, um, operate, uh, to, to survey the status of the actuator even in the hazardous area. And you can control the actuator in this hazardous area as well. The position indicator gives you the chance to see immediately the actual position of your valve. From the user experience point of view, it can be parameterized easily, as you have seen in the video. It can be operated manually, and the diagnostics with the LED show you the status of the actuator. And if you want to move further along with, with your troubleshooting, and um, you create a non hazardous area, you can connect it to your computer and find all the parts of the diagnostics 
um, to follow along and, and trace the source of your problems. Okay, that's, that's as a summary. Um, <clears throat> now you have the chance to ask questions about this actuator. And while you're typing those into the private chat section of the webinar, uh, I would like to check on what's happening if we press this button. What you see right now is that the actuator is reacting immediately to the loss of power and drives into the secure position. The spring is, um, is connected to the drive drain uh, all, of the, all the time and will take care that your valve is closed or open um, as it should when the, loss, when the power is lost. Okay, let me check on the questions that we may have here. Okay, first one, um, when will the PSFQX be available, Dominic? Okay, the PSFX will be available in six to eight weeks in the first step. In the next step, we want to have our standard lead time of three weeks. Sounds great. Okay, which further questions do we have? Oh, there's an important one. The actuator is coming up with the drive square with the with the square drive push and we get the question if that drive push is interchangeable or adaptable to other designs yes it's completely adaptable so we can have a double d or a keyway it's also possible perfect then let me take a look um let us get into the further diagnostics that way i have another question so what which errors can be uh, can be diagnosed through the LED or the software. So, yeah, in the status LED, you can see, for example, the actuator is not calibrated uh, over or under voltage. The important one is set value error or a torque fault. You can also see that the actuator is in the op normal operation mode. For further diagnostic purposes, the hazardous zone must be measured free. And then the detailed detail diagnosis must be carried out using a laptop and our special data cover, a special data cable. Okay, let's check on further questions. Keep typing them. Um, okay, um, one, yeah, that's a good question. They are asking, what are your plans to increase the torque, Dominic? In the first step, we start with 80 Newton meters. The second step is currently under developing. That means we will have an actuator up to 200 Newton meters. Next year, we want to launch 500 Newton meters and 1,500 Newton meters at the same time. Okay, perfect, thank you. Let me, let me check in. Okay, does it have a potential meter and a PSP TO2 on the, like on the PSQ103? No. We are working here with the state-of-the-art hall sensor. That means we have a magnet field and it's measured. It's higher precise like a PSPT or a PSAP. But, and that's important, you do have a feedback signal on it. And you can choose if you want to have it with 0 to 10 volt or with 4 to 20 milliamps. Correct. Um, we do have another question. Is it available for 300 volt with three-phase, Dominic? No. We are just having 240 volts. It depends on the size of the uh, Xbox. And what are your plans to increase the speeds? That's another question we have. Thank you for that, Dominic. The speed is a problem in that case because we have a spring. And so we have to work with the spring all the time. It's not possible to increase the speed in that case. But with the next actuator, we have a, higher, a high speed on the actuator. And it also will be adjustable. Yeah, so we will have a solution for higher required speeds in the future as well. Perfect. Thank you. Do we have further questions here? Let me check. Ah, oh, there's another important one. Um, asking about UL uh, or US certifications like UL or CSA. Dominic, what are our plans here? Yeah, we have plans. So we are in contact with the Technical Relief Board of Germany and we are will discuss these in the next months. So Please take care. We will have this in the end of the year. Sounds great. Do we have further questions? Okay. Are there are more? Are you also planning an FM approval? 
Um, the idea at the moment is to have a CSA approval. Um, yeah, for for FM, um, we we will stay in contact with the with the offices. Yeah. Did you record this video? So this is good information can be shared easily with our colleagues. Yes, you can. You will receive a link to this video um, at some point next week. Yes. Okay. Um, good. Do we have further questions? Good. Then thank you very much for joining us today. Um, it's been our pleasure to introduce the all new PSFQX to you. What we would like to put the reference to. Um, okay, one more question just coming in. Is the actuator <laughs> with an integral starter? That's not necessary because for the single phase actuator, the, uh, the amps are very low that the actuator is consuming, especially with the brushless DC motor. That's one of the advantages of the motor that it's not consuming too many amps. And therefore, the, we have the amps under control anyway. Does that answer your question? Okay, while you, while you get back to that, let me um, put a reference to our website where this actuator will be introduced shortly as well. In the product configurator, it is already uh, available or, or yes. selectable. Um, in the showroom, the sh our virtual showroom will be updated shortly as well. Feel free to reach out to us either through the common uh, channels or through the chat on our website. Okay, Dominic, it was my pleasure having you here today and introducing the PSFQX. It was also a pleasure for me. Thank you very much for joining in. We are looking forward. Uh, okay, one more. Can you repeat? the answer once again for the uh, internal uh, for the integral starter yes the actuator is a single phase actuator saying um, it's always operating with 24 volt dc and uh, every other voltage is being converted to 24 volt dc the in an integral starter according to my uh, experience is required if you need or if you have very high amps when the motor is starting as the brushless dc motor does not need these high amps we are not in need of an integral starter as the difference between the starting amps and the running amps is not too high therefore you will not need or there's there, you will not expect uh, high amps when using this actuator at any times It is exactly, it is not available as the three phase actuator. Is there an internal heater to avoid condensation? Dominic? No, we start with the ambient temperature of minus 10 degrees up to 40 or 60 degrees. It depends on the temperature class. So we have not a possibility to use a, a heating resistor here because it's the, uh, the lower temperature is minus 10 degrees at the moment. Okay. Any further questions? Good. Then, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us today. We are happy that uh, you have you have shown your interest in the PSFQX. We are really looking forward to um, get your feedback and your experience when this actuator is in the field and working in at your sites or your customer sites. So. Have a great day and thank you for joining in. Goodbye. Goodbye.